Okay, so today we are painting a Joseph statue. That's oh, his brother. So it's got a little bit of dirt and stuff on it. It has been sitting outside this whole time. So I'm just going to take the uh, wire brush to it a little bit. And then just any of the like really rough spots, I'm just going to kind of brush those out. And then there's a little bit of lichen on him in a few different spots, so I'm going to go after that too. But I'm just trying to clean it up just a little bit. As you can see, there's just kind of like some spots that are just a little dirty. So this statue is going to be quite a bit different than the other ones. This statue will actually be a detailed statue, which means I'm going to have to spray his face and his beard and everything to match the actual colors. And some people had asked me what kind of paint I use, and this is just like a Rust-Oleum Satin. I like the satin. It kind of gives it a little bit of a gloss, but it's not, you know, too much. And a lot of this is going to end up being painted by hand, so. And the reason that I'm going with this all brown to begin with is because I can dry brush as much of the lighter color as I need, uh, like on his, his feet. And, baby Jesus. Whereas if I uh, try to paint that in with a can, it's pretty much impossible. And then his, his uh, part of him here and stuff will be like a lighter color, the inside of his robe and everything. This part, since this is actually like a cape or whatever. So, let's get started. I just want to make sure that I get down on all the cracks and crevices on this. It's like I said, since he has been outside, he's a little more coarse than normal. See how much it's absorbing into that. Okay, All right, so we're going to let that dry good. Okay. Now we're going to try and I got a fan blown over here to try to dry this off a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to this part down here. Okay, this part down here. It's still a little bit tacky, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I've got like a sage. Call it's called oregano. Let's see this or not. So I'm going to go ahead and try to dry brush a little of this on there. If it smears a little bit on this bottom part, I'm not too worried about it. These, the details on the other parts of the statue, like the feet and uh, part of the robe and stuff is what I'm more concerned with than anything. As far as keeping the uh, detail on that. So like I said, that will basically probably be dry brushed more or less with a... Uh, flesh tone, which I've got a pink and a tan that I'm going to mix together to get the flesh tone that I need. So I've just got a old piece of news, well, piece of brown paper sack. So I'm going to actually, and stuff, I'm probably not going to dry brush this a whole lot. I'll probably actually a little bit heavier, but uh, not, not where it completely coats that. So let's see what happens here.
because I'm just kind of a little more than a dry bush on this. Some smaller detail brushes and stuff that's from a uh, cheap <coughs> telephone, cheap acrylic paintbrush set. It's probably like eleven dollars for like thirty brushes or whatever, so it's not much. This is like I said, and I'll just kind of spin him around. Part of him is still pretty tacky, so I'll just kind of spin him around a little bit. And right up next to his feet and stuff, I'm going to go just a little heavier on that. Try to define the area where that's at. And in case you're wondering, these are just the uh, super cheap chip brushes. Use them once and throw them away. As far as trying to save a brush doing this, eh, just get the cheap stuff and, and pitch it when you're done. Like I said, I will cut this in with the uh, brown again to kind of define where that robe's at. And then after the whole thing is dry, I'll tip it up and I will spray, completely spray the bottom of it to seal it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this underneath here. I think I got the bottom half of this now. For now, I might have to touch it up a little bit. It looks a lot darker on the camera than it really is. The brown in this. Okay. So this up here and his sleeves will also be that uh, ivory color. Before I get too carried away and end up going a little overboard, it's always easier to quit than it is to try to go back. So like I said, if I need to, I can go back in with a little extra color or something. But I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mix up the flesh tones and do his feet and stuff. So. So like I said, I will go back and all these places where I went a little over, I'll go back in and touch those all up. This is the pink color I got. Like I said, I'm going to mix it just a small amount. I can't see what I'm doing here. It's, it's pretty pink. But, uh, uh, there we go. It's pretty pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix a small amount of this pink with the mostly tan color. 
And then I'll go in and touch up his feet. I'll do his feet, so. Like I said, I will go over all these colors with probably just a straight uh, white to try and highlight that fabric just a little bit more, give it just a little more depth than just two-dimensional. So wish me luck on this. This means I know turpentine will get rid of the paint, so I can always clean my brush afterwards. up just a little with the, some whites and some browns. But I think I probably I'm gonna quit right there. So let's move up to Baby Jesus. Alright, since I kind of know what flesh tone colors I like. It doesn't take much of this pink, just a His smock, when I get done with it, will be like a uh, more of a whitish fingers. More of a whitish color than the uh, ivory here. If I pick up just a little of turpentine and stuff, this paint starts to thicken up on me, that turpentine will thin it out just a bit. This is going to be a really long video and I apologize. Okay, today is day two. I ran out of daylight last night. I'm trying to paint this. That started too late in the afternoon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and touch this up just a little bit more. Fill it in with some more color. I'm probably down here at the bottom of him as well.
said I missed a lot of this last night because it got dark and I could not see what I was doing. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> that good on that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up uh, mostly white and a little beige to do uh, the baby's outfit I'm going to dry brush just quite a bit of white on this part. So it may look a little more tan now, but it will I'm going to lighten it up quite a bit. And I didn't show it to you last night. did paint in his uh, eyes and everything, or his eyelashes and eyelids and stuff. See, I just kind of tone this dry brush down just a little. There we go. And probably about as far as his smock is concerned, or his overcoat or robe or whatever you want to call it. I think we're probably not going to call that quits on that. I have found the more you work something, the, the more you feel like you need to work it, and then pretty soon you've overworked it, and then it's like, then you gotta go back and start over again. So, let's see, there's a few places just straight brown I'm gonna have to touch up. Or I slopped a little. I'm going to dry brush on his robe to bring out the highlights of that. And I'll probably go through and dry brush everything and then go back through and do the little tiny details of the flesh tones and stuff. It is about 92 degrees out here, so it's hot. Looks like I said, this will be more like the dry brushing that I did on all the rest of my statues. This is probably not going to be real obvious. I'm 
one thing with it being as warm as it is out here, my paint dries a lot quicker than it normally would. This one's going to take a real delicate touch on this part. And I don't mind if it kind of leaves a texture because it almost makes, to me, it almost makes it look more like a, a fabric. See how kind of rough and then it kind of bumps and skips. And I actually kind of like that look. Like right. I said, I'm not going to overdo it on that because I don't want baby Jesus to kind of blend in with him. So I think as far as that part's concerned, I'm not going to do anything with that. Okay. Baby Jesus is pretty much dry, so let's highlight him. And I'm going to go quite a bit heavier on him just with the straight white because I want it to pop more. All right. Yeah, so I'm just going to I'm going to use this. I don't like having to buy something if I can mix a couple colors and end up with what I want. Shaky, shaky. Somebody lost. Okay, I'm going to fill in some of the uh, wrinkles in Baby Jesus' outfit. 
and I've got a combination of like the tan and a little bit of the uh, nutmeg color and I've got it really washed down so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to real lightly go up through some of this and then what I'll do after I go through this like filling in the wrinkles in here and since I actually had this water down so much so what I'm going to do now is actually completely wash the brush out and leave a little of the turpentine in and just kind of wash those down just a little so they just kind of look a little more natural and it's just kind of softening the edge of that I suppose you could do all of this with the probably I think some people actually paint them with acrylics or not acrylics I'm sorry latex Okay, I'm going to darken up Joseph's hair. I think I'm going to give him a, a darker, more like a black hair instead of the brown so it'll contrast with the coat. And Linda wanted me to put a little bit more brown on the back of the coat because it just sucked the paint in so much. So we'll do that as well. And I'm going to have a hard time seeing all the reflection off the house next door. And I'll probably go back over this and highlight just a little bit with the brown just to show a contrast between the two. I can't see someone running around with sandals on would probably have pretty dirty feet, don't you think? With sand and stuff. Sticky. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in there and just tap it a little bit with a some of that orange color. And I think I'm going to try to carefully go around Joseph's collar. Very carefully. 